Hey everyone, this is John. Welcome to another review with me. As you can see, I finally figured out the proper way for hipsters to wear their hats. Um, you have to find the most useless way that defeats the purpose of the winter hat. You know, you have to pull it only so it's covering the part of your head that's in the farthest back. Expose your ears, your forehead, the back of your neck, everything that typically would get cold first. Um, you have to expose um, and only cover up the most hairy part of your head back there. Uh, I found this out yesterday. It's called helixing. I saw someone who was wearing uh, the tiniest winter hat I've ever seen. I only say it's a winter hat because it was like this kind of material. It had like the lip thing on it, but it was like basically slightly bigger than what a yarmulke would cover. But it was uh, definitely like a winter hat. And it definitely wasn't a yarmulke because it had the lip and everything. Um, but then I had to look it up and find out that it actually is a thing for hipsters called helixing. So now I'll I'll wear it just for this video, so you can see how hipstery I am. But anyway, on to the review. This one is at KFC. They have a new sandwich. It's the chicken and waffle sandwich. It is $6. It's very expensive for one sandwich. But let's see if it's worth it. As you can see, the bun is just two waffles with a rather large piece of chicken in it. And the smell is very sweet, but also spicy. They have a, a hot honey sauce. Um, I've, I've actually reviewed the when they had the chicken with the hot honey sauce, and I really liked it. So hopefully this is also really good. It's very like, especially on the bottom, like very greasy dripping with the sauce. And we'll have to have a napkin ready just in case. Here we go. One more bite. <coughs> I don't know if the uh, the microphone's gonna pick up, but the first and the third, two out of those three bites, when I bit down into it, I had like this like squishy sound, almost like something was like squirting out. And I think it's because these waffles are just so saturated with some kind of liquid that when you bite into it, mm. holy cow, that's sweet. You're like squirting out some kind of sauce that just soaked into it. I think I'll like keep on wiping my hands for this just because it's so sopping wet with whatever that sauce is. That, those waffles by themselves, I just took a bite of it by itself, super sweet, candy sweet. I almost like taste sugar crystals crunching inside of my mouth. However, when it's added with the chicken sandwich in the middle, it's the, the spice and the savoriness of the chicken uh, kind of equalizes out with the sweetness, but goodness those waffles are sweet At six dollars You do get a, a, quite a lot in this sandwich And I think if you get it as a combo which comes with a side and a drink It's only like a buck more I think so it becomes more reasonable that way they only had the price for the combo, but I didn't want to get the whole combo. So I only found out how the price was for the sandwich after I actually got my receipt. It tastes really good. I like the uh, that hot honey sauce in my other review. It's still just as delicious here. 
I think the waffle itself is just too sweet. I think they could bring that back a couple notches just because like this is like candy. Um, or maybe they just put so much sauce on mine that's why it's so sweet and wet. But that's going to take like a, a point and a half off. I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. The chicken by itself is delicious with the sauce on it. It's just the sopping wetness and the oversaturated of the sweetness on there. You know, you'll just hear me complaining like that over and over again about it. Anyway, that's it for this review. Hope you like it. I do recommend that you go ahead and try this out, actually, though. It's that good. And I think the size of it makes it worth the money. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my Helix hat here that I'm going to fix and make it regular right after this video is over. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.